Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. Well, a bit of fun this week, as following on from the video GIF segment on this week's Mac show, I thought I'd take a look at producing animated GIF files on iOS. Now, animated GIFs are short image sequences that can be replayed on most popular platforms such as Twitter, Facebook and Tumblr, and also on basic web pages. Now I have to admit it's not something I do very often, so I had to go across to the App Store and do a quick search, and I came across Giffa, uh, or Jiffa. Now there is some a debate, uh, actually there isn't any debate, the author of the file format says it is GIF, but I still call it GIF, I can't get over that. So this is, to my eyes, Giffa. Um, there is also Giffa Pro, and this is the one that I've actually gone for. It's an extra 50p, the first one is at £1.99, this one's £2.49. And with the Pro version, you can record longer GIFs, but I always like to go for the Pro version, if feasible, uh, if only to support the developer. The application notes do say that the application is optimized for iPhone 5, but I'm running this on my iPod Touch. So let's go ahead and uh, open GIFA Pro, and let's have a look at the application. The first screen is your home page, it's your GIF library. You can actually create a library of GIFs, either GIFs that you've generated on the device itself, or you can import GIFs, or you can drag GIFs in from uh, URLs on the web. But you can arrange these in different ways. Just for an example, um, now this first GIF is one they give you as just an example GIF. Very cute. I don't know whether or not I'll be able to uh, do one as cute as this for the demonstration. You'll notice there's a little watermark down in the corner. Uh, lots of app reviews complaining about that. You can switch that off. I'll show you that later. But I'll just tap that again to put it back into list view. If you want to go into thumbnail view, I can tap edit and then just at the top, tap on here, and I can see them via thumbnails, but we'll put it back in list view. Um, you can also arrange folders, so you can create new folders by tapping at the top, creating a new folder, and organizing your GIFs in that way. If I say done, I can delete by swiping across as well, but we'll keep that one for now. Um, as far as settings are concerned, before we look at producing our own GIFs, if I tap the icon in the top, some general settings. So save frames to camera roll. Now GIFs are made up of multiple frames, so you can save individual frames to the camera roll, or you can save your compiled GIFs, your final GIFs, to the camera roll. So I'll leave that as is. Just tap back. Uh, some services that you can subscribe to. Now, Giffa.co, uh, they will give you a free account, and I think you get that by default. Uh, that's basically a web service whereby you can share your GIFs once they're created. Uh, this option here is whether or not you want to allow the GIFs that you upload to be featured. Uh, I'll leave that on, that's not a problem for me. Then if you want to use the built-in integration with Tumblr, Twitter or Facebook, you need to go into these settings, specify the relevant options, whether or not they're going to be private, whether or not you want to post to Twitter once you've posted to Tumblr, etc. any default tags, and then sign in. And then you'll be able to use the built-in sharing mechanisms for those services. Uh, some of the features down here at the bottom, but uh, that's all settings for now. I'll tap on the icon again, and uh, let's go ahead and have a look at creating a GIF. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14-day, no-obligation, free trial Screencasts Online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership. <laughs> 